hey what's up everyone welcome back to the channel today I'll be talking about the contents in this bag right here um, basically going over how much you should spend on parts and if you should upgrade the to a better name brand part um, it all depends first of all if you do your own maintenance on your car like me I like to save money so I, I buy my own parts and try to do much work as I can on my own or if you have a mechanic that doesn't mind you bringing in your own part some mechanic shops don't allow that they want to um, order the parts themselves due to warranty reasons let's say you bring a part in and then that part goes out a month later then now they have to do the work all over so they don't know if you bought a good part or a bad part so a lot of mechanic shops won't allow that but if you find a mechanic that do allow it then you're fine you just probably won't have that warranty on the um, labor on the car so you might have to pay for that labor all over again um, now these parts here are not going on the Crown Vic they're actually going on my van but I'm just going to do the video on this anyway so what we have here is um, two sets of brakes and two coil packs so basically when I went to buy the brakes I asked uh, for a good set of brakes um, now these right here were $25 for these brakes here and I wanted to upgrade the brakes to a better brake but um, as the guy was looking in on a system he was like well you can upgrade them but you basically you're just upgrading your price uh, they had a dual last gold and he said they're the same semi metallic brakes um, so basically just paying extra for the same brakes so these are the brakes here now why they have this huge box and make it look like it's more than what it is it's not but like you said both brakes the gold and this regular box are um, both semi-metallic so the gold or same brakes are just different names you just pay more the other set of brakes is like 50 bucks this is 25 so you're doubling the price um, these are the back brakes same thing same thing now for business purposes businesses will have two sets of brakes they have like this set and then they have the gold set the gold set will be exactly the same but to make more sales as long as they get in sales they'll have one higher and one lower and to make you buy you know the lower brakes anyway so i mean they're still getting the money but it's just it's a sales gimmick um now let's say you was going to buy a different type of part now this is the coil pack this right here was 30 bucks now this is where warranty comes in at. Now the brakes, all brakes come with lifetime warranty, but parts like this um, and any other part, either they come with a year warranty or you get a lifetime warranty. So this part here is only a year warranty and it was 30 bucks. Now I could have got a lifetime warranty for an upgraded part, which is 50 bucks. But if you think about it, if you do your own maintenance, you can say, well, hey, I'd rather save that 20 bucks and buy two of these, you know, just add the $10 difference. I get two of the same parts for that for what I could buy the upgraded part for um, so basically I bought two of these versus just buying one and getting a lifetime warranty because if this these parts usually last somewhere between 50 to 100,000 miles with no problem and then it's brand new um, so I shouldn't need a lifetime warranty uh, if I get a year or two out of these parts right here then that's great uh, brakes like I said they come with lifetime warranty so that's fine um, this whole bag a little bit over a hundred bucks with tax included so that's just something to think about when you're buying parts for your car uh, check and see you know some parts do come with lifetime warranty some don't if you're not really worried about the lifetime warranty especially if you're gonna sell the car then you say well I just buy the one with the year warranty and save some money but if you plan on keeping it and you might and that might be a part that goes out a lot then yeah you might want to go with the lifetime warranty now parts is like super expensive let's say like starters or the alternator then yes you want to go with the lifetime warranty parts that are not so expensive like this brakes then hey if you can get it cheaper you know a year warranty cool because like this goes out 30 bucks you know i can save up 30 bucks and buy that part again um but let me know what you guys think about that just wanted to share that knowledge with you guys and other than that if you haven't been following me I'm actually getting the plastic dip off the car so I can get it painted. There we go. 
So, let me know what you guys think. Other than that, I'll see you on the next video.